very important organ in the digestive system is the stomach. The stomach is located just below the esophagus in the digestive system. Partially digested food from the esophagus passes into the stomach, where more digestion takes place. Here we'll look at a cross-sectional view of the stomach. The stomach wall consists of three layers of muscle fibers. Inside the muscle layers is a layer called the mucosa layer. This mucosa layer contains cells that produce mucus, cells that produce hydrochloric acid, and cells that produce a substance called pepsinogen. Food enters the stomach through a tube called the esophagus. A ring of muscle at the bottom of the esophagus is called the lower esophageal sphincter. The sphincter muscles can open or close the passage from the esophagus into the stomach. The lower esophageal sphincter is sometimes called the cardiac sphincter. When there is no food entering the stomach, this passage remains closed. This prevents the highly acidic stomach contents from entering the esophagus and damaging it. There is another sphincter at the bottom of the stomach called the pyloric sphincter. This opens and closes to control the passage of partially digested food from the stomach to the small intestine. We see that it is closed here. When a food particle, or bolus, comes down the esophagus, the lower esophageal sphincter opens and allows it to pass into the stomach. The presence of food triggers cells in the mucosal layer to secrete a substance called pepsinogen. And other cells secrete hydrochloric acid, or HCl. HCl reacts with pepsinogen to form an enzyme called pepsin. The enzyme pepsin breaks down large protein molecules into smaller protein molecules. This is a type of chemical digestion that takes place in the stomach. The enzyme pepsin speeds up the chemical breakdown of large protein molecules. While this is happening, the muscles of the stomach wall contract in a peristaltic fashion, moving the bolus and the enzymes around. This, along with the chemical digestion, changes the bolus into a liquid called chyme. This churning action helps mix the enzymes with the food and speeds up digestion. The physical breaking up of food in the stomach caused by the muscular contractions is called mechanical digestion. Now we'll review digestion in the stomach. When food enters the stomach, cells in the mucosa layer secrete or give off mucus, pepsinogen, and hydrochloric acid. Mucus helps to lubricate everything. The mixture formed by all these things is called gastric juice. Because it contains hydrochloric acid, gastric juice is very acidic. Mucus helps protect the stomach wall from the corrosive effects of the acid. The pepsinogen and hydrochloric acid combine to form an enzyme called pepsin. Pepsin helps break down large protein molecules in food into smaller ones. These small protein molecules are broken down further as the food passes through the intestines. Breaking down protein molecules is a chemical reaction. So this process is called chemical digestion. Enzymes are needed for all types of chemical digestion in our body. Different enzymes break down different types of food. While this is going on, muscles in the stomach wall contract in a peristaltic fashion to turn food around and break it up. The food mixes with gastric juices and the combination of churning and chemical breakdown of proteins forms a liquid called chyme. The physical mixing and churning of food in the stomach is called mechanical digestion.